Welcome back everybody. Starting a new video series today. It's on a hall bathroom. Very common bathroom in a lot of houses. This house was built in the mid 90s and has never been remodeled. I'm going to take you step by step on how I do it. It should save you a lot of money. There's no need to go out and hire an expensive contractor. This is a DIY project, especially newer homes. Anything 1980s and newer, anybody can handle this stuff. The older ones, they just take a lot more effort. They're put together a lot differently than modern houses. Here's a quick shot of the before. Sheet vinyl, standard tub, shower. Looks like something's been done there. That's why there's that huge discussion ring around there. Reusing the toilet, not reusing the vanity. This is what I was talking about in the business video is the new light is meant to go over a centered light box. There's probably not a light box. There's probably one piece of Romex just stubbed out somewhere behind there. This is the type of baseboard we got. Now, this is another consideration when you're doing these jobs. This one's gonna work out great for me, is the height, floor height. So once this is built up, Keep in mind, I got a quarter inch going underneath this. This is gonna be a perfect, perfect transition here. Before I can get to making any of them, any mess, I've got to uh, protect the carpet, this brand new carpet. Hopefully I have enough to get at least one stripe all the way down the stairs. Difference. That is not good. <clears throat> hmm. This looks pretty good. There's a little water from when I just lifted it up, but everything looks solid, no rot, no soft spots, good seal, no evidence of leakage. This little rusted out thing here, uh, not sure what caused that, but it'll be fine. So this shutoff has been upgraded to a quarter turn ball valve, so we don't have any leaks. 
but I will still keep an eye on this to make sure I don't get a slow drip. But the quarter turn ball valves last much longer than those kind that you have to crank down and it's a rubber o-ring or rubber gasket that pushes in to create the the seal when you shut it off. This was hammered in with an actual hammer. These are almost sure to leak. So I'm just gonna twist them back and forth. This one, oh boy. Probably have to shut the water off to the house. But we'll see. Sometimes twisting them back and forth kind of exercises them in and out and you can get them to seat enough to take the vanity out and it only drip a little bit and then you can have better access to replace the whole shutoff. So I've run them in and out a few times. Looks like I might uh, get away with them being shut off. I will be replacing them with quarter turn ball valves. This is toe kick. This goes over the face of all these production type cabinets. And you can see you got your gold deck screw right there that's holding this to the floor. So if I were to guess, it looks like there are two screws. This one and one in the back. And that's all that's holding this in place. These production built homes are just so easy. It's just... It's so easy to remodel these. So the top is held on with four screws. Can you see my hand? Where is my hand? There it is. Uh, one screw there. One screw through the plastic brace at each corner. And another screw right there. Uh, the sink comes out super easy. I mean, it's just so easy to remodel these 1990s houses and newer. Yummy! So even though I said this is as easy as a job as I can think of, there are some tricks of the trade. And I've already screwed one up. Take the sink out before the toilet. I got ahead of myself and wanted to see what was underneath this toilet as far as rot or damaged subfloor. Took the toilet out. Now I've got the nastiest pee trap filled with nasty water with no place to put it. If you do the sink first, you pull the P-trap out without spilling anything, you dump it right into the toilet, flush it. Probably going to be dumping it right down the hole, but it's better to flush it down the hole. So now normally I would just dump this right into the toilet. I don't have a toilet anymore, but I do have a toilet hole. Now, 
I can see that this mirror is not glued on. I do not know if these clips are strong enough to hold the whole mirror up or if it's sitting on this backsplash. I don't want to have a mirror come down. Give me bad luck. The drain will pass through the back, no problem. I'm gonna take my vibrator saw and just buzz saw this out here and worry about that later. I'll cut that off, I have to see what the new vanity looks like. A lot of times these new vanities, they have a whole open back. These things just pass right through, you don't have to worry about drilling holes or anything. So something I see a lot of guys get confused on or stressed out about is the tile layout. And in some cases, that's a relevant concern. This is basically 10 square feet. Five, a little over five feet this way and exactly five feet that way. And about 45% of it is gonna be covered up by a vanity, a toilet, and a door. You don't want it to look all crooked. So when someone walks in the door, the straightest line they're going to see, the straightest, longest line is this tub. So you want your lines to be parallel and perpendicular to the tub. So I'm cutting through the middle section here. If it shrinks, it's okay. If it grows, not okay because I'm going to have a little sliver. Sliver. You don't want sliver tiles. Now, same thing with this wall. I go right straight through the middle. If it shrinks, that's good. We don't get any sliver tiles. If it grows, well, that's why we have baseboard. Baseboard will cover it up. The transition from carpet to the tile, that's where you don't want any sliver tiles or anything that looks funky. Your eye just wants to pass right over it. Most every tile that goes along in here uh, has to be cut. There's not much of a field section. I've got a few out here that I'll be able to just plop down but um, I'm going up and down those stairs a lot. I will only do half one day, come back 24 hours later and do the second half. I work my way from the outside in. The most important part of this tile install visually is that transition from carpet to tile and along this wall and this wall. Most of these bathrooms are straight as a broken dick. The crooked tiles or anything that's gonna be growing or shrinking is going to be put underneath the vanity and behind the toilet. This way is the fastest and the easiest and it looks the best. So if anybody's curious on my filming setup, got the tripod here. I've got a light pointed at the ceiling to try to get dis diffused dispersed light. 
I've got my DeWalt shined against that wall again to get just brighter, brighter light in here without shadows. I'm doing my best for video quality on this. So that's the end of part one. Project is 100% finished and done and edited, but it's an hour long. So I decided to chop it up and do some smaller segments. They will be coming out fast, every day to every other day. So I won't make you wait an entire week to get through this project. I do intend to do a live stream tonight, Sunday. Yes, this is a live feed here. We're gonna talk about a lot of different things, mostly business things. Uh, one of them is customer service, how to respond to a customer that is, uh, well, we'll have to leave. <laughs> Can't talk like that on the videos. We saved that for the uh, the live streams. But they did send me an email that started out like this. Dear sir or madam. You know anybody that talks like that? You know they got a giant stick stuck somewhere. I'm going to talk about how I'm supposed to handle the situation, how I could handle the situation, and I still haven't decided which way I'm going. If you want to hear the details, tune in tonight sometime. Could be 8, 9, 10. It'll probably go several hours. I know it's not ideal doing it on a Sunday night. I was gonna do it last night, but uh, didn't work out. Drop a comment below on this video, and maybe we'll even uh, discuss your grievances with the way I'm remodeling this bathroom, or your concerns. I probably won't uh, talk too much about it because there are several other videos coming out that are going to answer all your questions. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.